Hello learners, how do you compute square root of a number? How do you compute square root of a number? More on this, join me, teacher Jonathan, at Easy Elimo Learning Simplified in our lesson for grade 6 mathematics as we work out for the square root of perfect squares up to 10,000. In our previous lesson, we went as far as 5,000 and today we'll be working out at the perfect squares up to 10. Thousand. And do you remember the sign that we used to work out for the perfect square? The square root sign, we said we use this sign. Whenever you see that sign, it means you are looking out for the perfect square of the number in question here. Now, can you join in your groups? Identify the following number cards as we read them together. We have six, seven, 2 and 4. Let us read the entire number. 6,724. 6,000. Remember we are looking for the square root. So it will be 6,724. The next number. The next number will be working out with. Can we all read together? We have 7, 2, 2 and 5. That is 7,225. That is our next number. We want to look at the square root of 7,225. The third number that we will be working with is as follows. Let us all read together. We have 8, 8, 3, and 6. Remember, there are numbers between 5,000 up to 10,000. So it will be 8,836. 8,836. Now, let us start with the first number. In our groups, the first number, we look first for the factors of that number. The factors of the number, the number itself is 6, 7, 2, and 4. We start by working out the factors of this number. And the factors of this number are as follows. 2, 2, we have here 3, 3, 6, and 2. That is the first one. The second one, we'll also have 2. We'll have 1, 6, 8, 1. And then the next number that we'll have here, between these, and, between these we'll have 41 and 41. That is the simplest we can solve. And then finally, 41 and 41 and 1. Now, after you do that, Pick the factors, and the factors we had was 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by, or oh, they were only 2, not more than 2. Let me repeat again. We have 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 41 multiplied by 41. These were the factors. After you do that, pair the factors. After you pair, pick 1 multiplied by, after you pair, pick 1. 2 multiplied by 41 is equal to 82. So we can proudly say square root of 6724 is equal to 82. That is the square root of that number. Square root of 6724 is 82. Can we try the other number in our groups? I hope each group has gotten 82. Each group has 82. So let us work out the next one. The next one is square root of 7,225. Remember, the first step is to work out for its factors. Factors, the number which can be divided this to give you a whole number, will have 5. And when you use 5, you'll get 1, 4, 4, 5. 1, 4, 4, 5. Here is 1. And 2 is 4. 4, 5. Then the next one, the next number is 5 again to get 2. 2 to remain with 4. 2. 
eight and nine two eight nine then after two eight and nine we have seventeen and seventeen seventeen and one then you pick the factors you pick the factors and the factors are five multiplied by five multiplied by seventeen multiplied by seventeen then you pair them and you pick one in each pair which is five multiplied by seventeen and when you multiply when you multiply five and seventeen you get eighty five so we can say square root of seven two two five is equals to eighty five learners the key thing to master here is for the factors for the factors which make up this number and then after you do that next step now pair each and pick one in each pair to get your answer with this can we try working out the following the third one you will do it at your own time so let us try working out the following task and in our task is working out the square root of number one it is eight two eight one number two is the square root of seven seven four four and the finally number three is the square root of five nine two nine with this learners remember to do more practice on square root of perfect squares up to ten thousand you can ask your parents to come up with numbers between 5,000 to 10,000. Make sure they are perfect squares of the said number and you try to work them out. Hope the lesson was enjoyable. Let us meet same time, uh, next time, same place. See you then.